All those in favor, please say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Motion carries unanimously. With that vote, the city of Knoxville gave another $150,000 in taxpayer money to the Change Center. Knox County is set to match that donation to the East Knoxville nonprofit in the coming weeks. The resolution says it comes with a new business model approved by the city. But 10 News investigative reporter Cole Sullivan found there is none, at least not yet. For the first time in almost a year, kids filled the Change Center again and Knoxville taxpayers helped reopen the doors. As we all know, we need uh, safe, enriching places for our kids to go. In its resolution giving the nonprofit $150,000, the city says it's worked over the past two months to develop and implement a reopening plan that includes a new sustainable business model. But the center's executive director did not want to answer questions about it. The money that we received uh, will help us with uh, operations and reopening. Even when we asked again. The, the kind of idea of a quote sustainable business plan, is that different from before what you had pre-pandemic or is, or is that kind of? Cole, you're, you're, you're doing too much. You're doing too much. So are we done? No, I've got a couple more okay. questions. I, I'm going to re reiterate that one if you don't mind. So is that a change to the business plan? So the monies that we received was, um, again, an incredible investment and gift that will help us as we are reopening. And asked again. The monies that we received from the city, uh, again, we're grateful for that investment. So we called the city's representative helping develop the plan. He says they haven't even had a meeting yet. And we're looking at anywhere from six months to a year in order to come up with a sustainable business plan that would allow the Change Center to go forth and to function. And all taxpayers have pledged a million dollars to the Change Center since it opened. The executive director says it served 400 kids last weekend. Back to you. If the Change Center doesn't develop a plan, the city can terminate its contract. In a statement, the city says the Change Center is dedicated to developing that new plan. It says the city will participate but not lead those discussions.